Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Let's head on through... Oh, this cave. Uh, I don't think there's a name for it, but there you go. We got these Actorak guys that I showed off earlier in that uh, cave with the trophy there. One thing a few people pointed out, uh, with uh, enemies dropping either those potions or uh, the power bags, uh, apparently it's every sixth enemy, and they are correct. I don't know why I thought it was every tenth. I, I guess I had every tenth enemy has the bomb on the brain, and somehow I thought that translated over here or something. I don't know. So. Sorry about that, viewers. Oh, man. They're just dropping these things like mad! Would be nice if I could... Well, well... Oh well. Don't worry about your life. We will have a life restoration point coming up in the near future. One thing I forgot to mention, uh, saving in this game uh, works identically to the first game. At least on the NES version. I forget how it works on the newer versions, but uh, maybe it might be the same. So, you go over here... What the? I can't make that jump! Actually, can I? I wonder if it's possible, if you time your jumps just right, can you make it up there? I don't think you can. But anyway, you use the jump spell, now we can get up there. Hooray! So, yeah, you can't get through this cave without the jump spell. At least, not without, like, really ultra-precise jumping. Maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, can <sighs> Ha! Gotcha! You are mine! Restore my life, or you will be in slavery. Or enslaved. Whatever. But anyway, this is Medoro Swamp. This is actually a pretty good place to uh, level grind if you wanted to. Because these enemies here are really easy to kill, and they give 10 experience each, as opposed to the bots from before that only give you uh, 2. That's... What, you can move and shoot projectiles at me? It's not fair. But anyway, if you take one step to the right here, you can get a 1-up. I'm not going to do that, but you can if you want. I'm going to save that for the final dungeon of the game. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh. Well, at least I get something out of the deal. Okay, run, run. Thank you. Okay, anyway, let's cross this bridge here. Well, you got these guys coming after us, and I think they drain your experience, just like the other guys do. If I recall correctly, it's been a while since I've gotten hit by these guys. Careful. Take it easy. Nuts. Phew! Made it. Well, first things first, let's check out the village here. How's it going? Oh, okay. I don't believe you. Okay, how's it going? Whoa! Okay, I believe you now. Yeah, uh, from this point on in the game, and er, sometimes villagers will turn into bats. He's got spies everywhere. Even though he's kind of dead, but... Isn't, uh... Someone supposed to come out of there? Hmm. That's weird. Let me, uh, back out and try again. Maybe, uh, she was just scared. Yeah, she was just scared. How's it going? Oh, mirror. Magic mirror? No. no. Just an ordinary mirror. But, okay, well, keep that in mind. If you go into this house, just press the B button right at the table there, you can find the mirror right there. So, yeah, pretty easy, uh, fetch quest for, to get this magic spell. But before heading back there, let's go check out the rest of the village. Anyone with a unique sprite is probably, or a less an uncommon sprite, probably isn't going to turn into a bat, but well, I'll keep the handy glove in mind. Let's see what this bot has to say. Oh, okay, nothing. If anyone knows what the point of that guy there is, let me know. I mean, am I supposed to cast a spell or something, or... Or come back with a different item or something to make him say something? Anything? I don't know. But 
but anyway, we got that, uh, well, river over there, but we can't get past that. Whatever shall we do? Nuts. Well, we can't get past there for now. I could have unlocked it before coming here, but, well, I figured I'd just show you what's going on there because, well, I don't plan on, uh, going beyond this point yet for now. You could if you want. You could get, like, more, uh, items, more spells and such before heading to the next dungeon, but, well, that's not how I roll. We're kind of in the area already, so I just want to head to the next dungeon right now. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Shut up, you're ugly. So yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna go through Death Mountain or anything like that right now. I'm gonna save that for later, please. Does it have a more creative name? No, of course not. But it is a really good spell, probably the best spell in the game. Uh, basically it restores, I think, about three bars of health, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know the precise amount. But it does restore a good amount of your health, so... Pretty much, you're going to be saving your magic for that. Although, I am still a bit more of a fan of the shield spell. Wait for it... Or not. Okay, whoa! Nuts. Crap. Crap! Get out of there! Get out of there! Thanks. Thanks, game. Ah, oh, these guys. I hate these guys! Okay, grab our power bag and get out of there. Come on a little closer. Ha! Woo! Uh, not much I can do with that, but... What? Well, those guys are easier than I probably made them out to be. I just got, uh, put in a bad situation in that forest there. I hate running into enemies in the forest. They got a lot of forests around here, don't they? Well, well... You're real nimble there, Link. Okay, anyway, the reason why I'm not worried is because we got a nice little fairy here. Oh, Let's get up to here... Uh, let's see... Okay, that should make it easy enough. I'm trying to... Get in the right position. Okay, one, two. Wait for it. Are you gonna hit me or no? Okay. You just go right here. And you can find this guy. Begu! Or Bagu? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is how you're supposed to cross the river in. Oh, I didn't uh, show the name of the town there, did I? Well, the name of the town is Saria. So, uh, you go there, talk to Begu, then you can go to the Riverman, he'll make a bridge for you to get to the other side. But, well, I don't want to do that right now. It's a little bit too hard for, for us right now. Let's, uh, let's go over here instead. Gotta explore these caves. Now, don't worry about your, uh, magic, really. As a matter of fact, let's use a shield spell. Because we're gonna have, uh, an MP restoration point coming up. Same thing with your life, too, now that you have the life spell. Just be careful. Take your time. Be prudent. Whoa! No, 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 no! I'd rather not have to use my life spell if I don't have to. Ha! Well, I'm doing uh, a little better than I thought I would. And let's get another attack multiplier, or attack level, why not? Okay, now let's head to uh, Medoro Palace and try to find that handy glove. Or power glove, or whatever you want to call it. I like calling it the handy glove because the power glove sucks. Even though, yes, I did have a power glove as a child. And here you get a red potion. Nice. Restores all your magic. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Yes! I made it! Ha-ha! Okay, let's try 
try to be careful. Are you gonna attack me? Hmm. Well, I'm doing pretty good getting through here so far. Let's check out Midoro Palace. Now, if you need to in this palace, you can get a red potion there. I'm not gonna use that now, but you can if you want. So, let's take a look around. Remember, oh, remember this first floor for later, because I'm gonna come back there off screen. Probably should have done that in the last episode with, uh, the, er, the last palace there, but, uh, when I did that backtracking on screen, but, uh, whatever. Careful. These guys can be killed by your sword beam, so just take it easy. Well, what happened to that guy? Okay. Yeah, now we can kill those guys in one hit. We got blue Stalfoses. Whoa! They can jump? I'm totally unprepared for jumping Stalfoses. And they can sort of thrust in a downward direction. Totally unprepared for all that, but there we get a key. Awesome. I'll probably use a life spell and use that red potion that I uh, passed on earlier. Eventually. I'll probably do that off screen. But for now, let's get some keys. If only there were an item or a spell that would negate the need for me to get all those keys, but sadly I have no such ability. Okay, careful. Just let these guys come to you. Huh. Uh, not worth it. Get out of there. I was hoping to use a shield spell, but what am I going to do with that, really? So, don't worry about it. Just save the MP. Okay, wait for it. There's always a break in him uh, throwing those hammers at you. So, just... Oh, oh okay, that worked too. I was going to try and jump over him, but... Well, that works too. Okay, got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the entrance, get that potion, use a life spell, and then meet you back at that first floor elevator. But can we find the handy glove in the Medoro Palace? Or will we just find a piece of power instead? Find out next time on Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.